idea of the importance of the humanities very much infuses the lecture you're going to be giving at the conference. Can you give us a little bit of a preview about the ideas in your paper for the conference? Well, I talk about the founding of our law school in 1902 and the person who actually is, whose name is on the chair that I hold. So I got curious about what name is going to be attached to me. So I did a little research on him. He was the chief architect of our law school, Ernst Freund, and he was a social critic. He was a practicing lawyer, but he was also an academic political scientist. And he really thought, so this is a time of great animus and hostility toward new immigrants in uh, the early years of the 20th century. It was a time when immigrants, the famous trial of Sacco and Vanzetti, were framed for murder that they didn't commit, a time when they wanted to deport immigrants. And it was also a time when there were other upheavals. The law of marriage was under debate, all kinds of things that are very resonant today. So I want to talk about that moment and why there are issues on the table now that were the same issues that Freund was thinking about. And what he thought was lawyers shouldn't just learn black letter law, which is what was happening mm. at Harvard, which was supposed to be the be all and end all of law schools. Uh, he, he thought that that would just produce docile accomplices of the status quo. So he thought they better learn to think critically. And even though at that time and to the present day, all law students had already had an undergraduate degree of some type, he thought they needed to learn more. They needed to learn some philosophy and critical thinking about justice. They needed to learn social science methods and political science. They needed to learn economics. And so he wanted an interdisciplinary law school. And the president of the university said, oh, you mean you want a graduate school? He said, no, I, it's practicing lawyers that need that because otherwise they just sort of slide along and they get along and go along. And, uh, and Freund uh, courageously fought for that interdisciplinary conception, which is what we've got today, but it's under attack. And I'm talking, I talk because I don't know so much about the situation in Australia, and I'm very eager to learn more. But I talk about the attack in America, which is now saying, oh, all of that stuff is useless. Let's reduce legal education to two years and then cut out all this, uh, the frills, so, so to speak, of interdisciplinarity. And I'm uh, saying that, that that's actually uh, very misguided. And uh, so we hope that the kind of interloper that I am will long continue. And we, we do have quite a lot of interlopers. Most of them have a law degree and a PhD. I don't have a law degree. But there are quite a few who, in different law schools, who are economists without a law degree and, and <coughs> others uh, as well. So, so I think it's probably good that most of the people in a law school should have a law degree, but they can also have a PhD, which, what did I say in the paper? I think it's like... 15 of our faculty actually have PhDs out of 38 faculty. And so they're all interdisciplinary in one way or another.